Here's what I'm wearing. So here's what I'm wearing. Here's what I'm wearing. So yeah, here's what I'm wearing. Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's so great to be back. This is my first video of the year. How y'all doing? I've been under the weather for the past couple weeks, but I'm feeling great now. And I wanted to come on for a follow-up of my Blanca flight suit. In case you didn't see the before, I'll link it up above, but this is the after. So here it is. This is the flight suit by Closet Core Patterns. So where do I start? So this fabric, um, it's a beautiful, I think it's like a cotton rayon fabric, but it has a nice stretch. It has a lot of stretch. And I love the drape of this fabric. I love the color, even though I have since dyed this jumpsuit, but even the original color was really cute, just not in a jumpsuit. I did iron this before I put it on because I dyed it yesterday and I rewashed it, threw it in the dryer, and it was a bit wrinkly when I got it out. So I did do a little press before I came on camera so it looks more presentable, but usually I would probably have worn it just right out of the dryer but it kind of has this fabric has a it has similar characteristics of linen in that it has beautiful flow but it's wrinkly it's not it wasn't super bad but you know I mean it's a flight suit anyway I don't think people usually iron their flight suits or their boiler suits but I wanted to go ahead and give it a quick iron so that it looked more presentable but yeah this fabric is really really nice it's super comfortable it was it was a challenge to iron so I think most boiler suits or jumpsuits are a bear to iron but I did I did okay. <laughs> the changes that I made, first of all, I made size I made size 14 at the top, 16 at the bottom. The waistband, I cut out a size 16, but I did have to grade it down to fit the top part. I didn't do anything with the crotch and after I washed it, it, it seemed like it kind of shrunk up a little bit because it seems like I don't have as much room in my crotch area as I did before. So I think it did maybe shrink up just a bit, I think. Yeah, it still has a loose fit because I wanted mine to have a pretty, have a kind of a loose fit. After I did my first video, I did cut about two inches off the sleeves and like before they were hitting my elbows, it was at my elbows. Now it's like way up. So you can see it's a couple inches above my elbows. And I put this double stitching at the hem. And then at the bottom, I, I think I cut it off about an inch. And then I put like a two and a half to three inch hem on it. And then I did the same similar double stitching at the bottom. The biggest change that I made was, besides the color, was I put some elastic in the waistband. And that cinched it in just a bit, just enough so it just like gave it a, a little bit of shape. So I do like that. And then obviously the color. So I got a, what dye did I get? Did I throw it away already? I got a cocoa color. I think that was the name of the color that I got. So it was, it was basically brown or chocolate. And I got red also because I didn't know if I was going to, if the brown was gonna make it too dark and not a color that I wanted. So I got the red also in just in case, but I only used the brown. I put it in a bucket of water. I used like just a pail from Home Depot. I filled it up with hot water and then I poured in the dye, which I would not suggest doing it that way <laughs> because when I was pouring it into the water, it was splashing all over the place. So I had like brown speckles all over my tub 
But anyways, it washed out fine. I put my jumpsuit in and then I let it soak for about five minutes. It was looking dark, like brown, 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 dark. And I didn't think it was gonna come back this light, but it did. It came back the perfect color that I wanted. So yeah, I just, after I took it out of the dye wash, I put it in the washing machine like right away and washed it one cycle and then dried it. And here it is. Also, another thing that I did was take the zipper facing out. I just didn't feel like it was, it looked right. So I just took it completely out. In the instructions, it does say that it's optional. And then it also says that if you want to drop it down by a few inches, you can. So I could have done that, but I just took it off completely. It was just seemed like more of a hassle, like pointless. I also didn't do the top stitching on my collar. I didn't do any stitching. I just left it plain and it looks fine. So here's my jumpsuit. So I'm super happy about how it turned out, mainly because the color, I wanted to get the color down. I am wearing some leggings under this like some fleece line leggings and I still have plenty of room since this fabric is kind of thin I wanted to have an extra layer of protection since it is really cold here yeah and I do plan on wearing it out today I do have on short sleeves but um, I should be fine with my jacket that I put on so yeah I can't wait to wear this in the summer with some tennis shoes I'm super excited yeah I do like that it's it does look cropped at the at the bottom just by a little bit it's like they're hitting me like at the perfect length like right there it turned out so lovely yeah so I can't wait to redraft it and make a smaller size because I do still want to go down a size um, maybe a size 8 or 10 at the top and then maybe a size 14 at the bottom but yeah it fits me great all right thanks for watching bye